and get this out, words from Rome. And of course, almost all words in English are from Rome. So we're only talking about words from the Roman military. Okay? Okay, so when you have Yongoi Yuxi Bolpro, Latin get Latin always go on Tom Hano to the Okay. So we can't just say words from Latin because that's every word, almost every word. Okay? So we have to just say words from the Roman military. That's what we're discussing today. Okay, words from the Roman military. So like it says in the beginning of that book, um, or that post, early last year, I was living with my grandparents again in California, and I've always been really interested in Rome, and I didn't have a job or anything going on, so I went to Amazon.com. And on Amazon, now you can buy used books. So I started buying these used books that were actually new. Like somebody bought it, but they didn't read it, so they sell it. So a lot of times the price for the book was like, uh, you know, sometimes as low as 25 cents. So like eBay Wushibon, right? That's how cheap I could buy these used books. So I bought a bunch and I just stayed home and I read for like six to eight hours a day just at my grandmother's house and I got really fat. And, um, but I did read a lot of books on Rome. And what's always interesting when you study Roman history is how many correlations there are to American history. Like the way we do things in America is really strongly based on uh, the Roman systems, okay? For example, we have a Senate, they had a Senate. Okay, we, the symbol of the U.S. is the eagle, right? Their standard was the eagle. There's a lot of things. I mean, those are just two very simple, basic examples. But I thought it would be interesting to look at some of the linguistics, uh, the linguistic heritage that we've inherited from the Roman army. So, this first one here, like it says, uh, decimate. Decimate. Okay, so like it says here, this was originally a kind of punishment. Okay, decimation. Iranen bol isasa. They go Roma kundeso. So let's say we go to the. How do you say? Jonda. 전쟁터, 영어로 Warfield? Right. <laughs> we usually say battlefield, right? But let's say at the battlefield, of uh, my troops, I'm the general, but my troops run away, okay? Like usually the new recruits, we call them raw recruits, I guess 신병, or 군대에서 새로 시작했던 사람들, okay? 복 많이 먹잖아요, okay? Because it's the first time. Nowadays, when um, militaries fight, they usually fight from far away, right, with guns. But in the past, you had a sword, and you got closer and closer and closer until you fought, right? Until you were killing people, people were dying all around you. Um, but in Rome, discipline was the most important thing, right? So this was the name of a punishment that a general could give his troops if they fled, right, the battlefield, okay? Okay, so it's called decimation, and what they would do is, let's say the troops ran away from the battlefield, when they came back, when the Roman army caught their own troops later, they would decimate a legion, okay? So legion, gundan, han gundan in there, okay? This, they would draw lots, okay? They would kill one out of every ten men, okay? And that was called decimation. So if you look at this, Deca, Iranen, Okay, it means ten in Latin. Okay, so that's why we have the word decade, which means ten years. Okay, decimeter in the metric system. All right, decimeter, deciliter. These are also, you know, this kind of thing. Anything that has this in it. Also, December. Igonen chukum. Okay, chikum shibi wall December ijiban. 원래 이거는 열 번째 달이었어요. 네, 뒤늦게 앞을 두개더 넣었어요. 그래서 이렇게 12월 되버렸는데 원래 열 번째 달이었어요. December. Okay, so decade, December, decimate. So decimation was the kind of punishment the general would give to his own troops. Okay, but they didn't use it very often because uh, you kill all your own troops, right? They just used the the threat of it a lot. Okay, so now. 그거 옛날식 사용법이고 이거 이제 이런 볼다 없어졌을 거 아니에요. 
Okay, now we use it to mean Paksarndeda. Okay? So our team, our team completely destroyed the other team. Say we decimated them. Okay? We decimated them. You could say they decimated us. They completely decimated us. Okay? Alright, decimate. Alright, so if you look at the example sentence there, the Korean national soccer team, the Hanguk Depo team, Chukku team, completely decimated the Americans when they met for a friendly a few years back. Okay, friendly, Chinson Gyeonggi. Okay, a friendly, a friendly match. Okay, so, 우리 보통 스포츠에 대해서 얘기할 때 제일 많이 쓰는 문맥입니다. Okay? They were decimated, we were decimated, we decimated them. Oh, you can also say we decimated the competition. 경쟁사. Okay? 우리 압도적으로 이겼어요. We decimated the competition. 쓸수 있어요. Okay? Alright. Then, uh, let's look at the next one. Okay, legions. Now make sure you pronounce this legion, not region. Region, it all go home in geo, geo. Okay, but this is legions, legions. Okay, so, 군단. This was the largest size, 제일 큰 단위였어요. 거기 로마 군대에서, a legion. Okay, and it varied in size, from 4,000 to 6,000 men. In different times, it was a different size. Okay. Uh, but it's called legions. So that's what it meant uh, in the old days. So 오늘날의 사용법은 관객. 우리 관객 정말 많을 때 수천 명의 관객. Okay, then we say legions of fans. 그렇겠어. Okay. So uh, legions of 그리고 이것도 많이 Adoring fans. Okay, 이것도 정해진 유형입니다. Okay, legions of adoring fans 이라는 말 많이 써요. So for example, rain. Rain was met by legions of adoring fans at the Bangkok airport yesterday. Okay, so 수천 명 조금 멋진 표현으로 말하고 싶으면 legions of fans. Okay, so 또 legions of legions of Korean soccer fans. Okay, legions of Korean soccer fans gathered by City Hall Station to watch the game, right? To watch the um, World Cup in Germany. So legions of Korean soccer fans <laughs> gathered by City Hall Station to watch the Germany World Cup. Well, we don't see the there. Okay. 근데 미국 사람한테 말할 때 soccer이라고 말씀하셔야 되고 유럽 사람한테 말할 때 football이라고 해야 돼요. 유럽 사람한테 수, soccer이라고 하면은 열 받아요. <웃음> 왜 그렇게 예민한지 모르겠지만. <웃음> and when I, in front of a, um, a European person, like an English person, if I say, did you see the soccer game? They always puse me as oh, you mean football? Ho ho ho, 이런 식으로 해요. <웃음> 네, 알잖아, 미국에서 이거 별로 인기 없는 스포츠이기 때문에 그냥 soccer이라고 해요. 근데 서클의 어원 저번에 나왔죠? 보셨어요? 서클은 association에서 왔어요 원래 association에서 왔어요 이게 옛날에 어, 축구단, 어, 축구팀은 soccer, or no, football associations이라고 했었어요 그래서 그거 생략해서 그냥 서클이라고 했어요 서클, association, 서클 지금 단어를 이렇게 생략 안 하지만 19세기에 이렇게 했나 봐요. So association, association was shortened to soccer. So 미국에서 우리 soccer이라고 하고 football이라고 하면 우리 미식축구 생각해요. If somebody says to me in America, did you see the football game? I think 미식축구. Right? Okay, so that's legion. So legions of Korean soccer fans dressed in red gathered by city hall to watch the game unfold in Germany last night. Okay, next.
Okay, so this next one is cohorts. 항상 이렇게 S 붙여. Okay, cohort 말이 안 써요. He's one of my cohorts 이라고 해요. 단한 명에 대해서 얘기할 때도 He's one of my cohorts. Okay, now a cohort 그 로마 군대에서 군단 리진 제일 큰 거였고 그 밑에 cohort이라는 거 있었어요. Okay? 보병대. Okay, and this now we use to mean 주변 사람들. 제 서클, 서클. 제 주변에 있는 사람들. Okay, my cohorts. So, and 특히 무슨 무슨 활동에서 만났던 사람. So, for example, my football cohorts. Okay, 미식 축구 하다가 만났던, 알게 됐던 친구들은 my football cohorts. Okay, 옛날 축구, 축구 친구들은 옛날 뭐 bowling. Bowling 친구들은 my bowling cohorts. Okay? 그렇게 많이 써요. So, um, if you look at the example sentence there, my old football cohorts and I went out for burgers and beers last Thursday. Okay? 네, 여기 또 다른 그 의미 있는데, 이게 무슨 그 조직, 무슨 갱, 갱에 대해서 얘기할 때, 우두 머리에 주변 사람들도, 이렇게 연루된 사람들도 cohorts라고 합니다. Okay? So it has the two meanings. So police are still searching for more of the drug kingpin's cohorts. Kingpin은 그거예요. 우두 머리. 네, 우두 머리. So the kingpin's drug cohorts. The people that were involved in the crime with him. Okay, that's cohorts. Okay, 그리고 cohort보다 밑에 있는 단위는 century였어요. Okay, 근데 century 항상 100명 아니었어요. Okay. 크게 왔다 갔다 했고 항상 100명 안 됐어요. 항상 뭐 70명, 80명 그 정도였어요. 그리고 센츄리를 이끌어 갔던 사람 이름이 뭐였어요? 그 정치? Centurion. Centurion. Okay. Okay. So centurions in the Roman military culture died much more often than the normal recruits because they always had to fight the most ferociously. Okay. Centurions always had to lead from the front, so they would always be in the fighting. If their men were afraid, they would go first. So they died a lot more often than other people, but their rank was higher. But the, the ratio of their deaths to common soldiers' deaths was much higher. Okay, so if you look at the, in the old Roman military movies, they have a different hat. Okay, usually they have some feathers that go this way. It's called the transverse crest. Okay, and that was there. That was what a centurion was. And also, they wore their sword on a different side. The normal soldiers, I think, wore it on this side. Centurions had their sword on this side. Okay, but it was just a low-level officer, centurion. But if they survived, they could move up. Okay, but they very rarely survived. Many of them died. So century and centurion. So everybody knows Pengyongan is century, right? A century. And also, this Beginjo, this group of a hundred men, is also called a century. Now, what else? What else is this center in? Centimeter, right? Centimeter, you saw what's there. Okay, cent. 또 미국 돈에서 cent 있잖아요. Cent 한 달러에 몇 개 들어갈? 백 개. Okay, so cent. Okay, centimeter and cent and century. Alright, now let's move on to the next one. 